What up, what up, what up, YouTube goers? Welcome to another awesome figure review on Toys Collectibles channel. Starting with AKA Logan, but actually not Logan, the original Wolverine. This is Logan's son, Wolverine. So I'm gonna get into details with that figure later on throughout the video. And this is the Wolverine from Marvel Universe build the figure. I forgot which figure they're building, but um, yeah. So I got a good trade off my boy Alex last week from the toy show. And I can't believe we're in the second week of October. And this is like, wow, fast already. So let's start with AKA Wolverine's son. So that's kind of weird to me. But like I said, I'll get into details with that later on throughout the video. So let's start with the head sculpting first of Wolverine. First of all, dead on. I love the head sculpt of this Wolverine. I love the, the texture, the, the detail, the factoring to it. Just wow. I love how they did the eyes. I love how they, they put in the painting of his eyes. I love how they did the white on his eyes. Normally, they'll do dimples on certain Wolverines, but this one is awesome. And I love the paint detailing to this figure. I love how they put in the dark brownish um, texture color into it with the mix of black and then the, I can't really tell if this is orange or yellowish color painting but what I could tell is this figure is really detailed and then the texture on the back is really sculpted really good really nice like I said the the dark brownish with the black is really nice it really brings out this Wolverine's color and like I said, YouTube goers, I can't really tell if this is dark orange or light orange or is this a texture mixed with orange or yellow. But um, if you guys know, let me know. Leave a comment saying what color is mixed with. But on the other hand, this is a really, really good figure. So his ab crunching is pretty good. So you can bend it in, out. So he has a good texture of a crunch, his head, clockwise it, you know, go all the way back. His head does go up and down. His arm goes outer, goes up. You can bend the elbows. All depends how you want to have your Wolverine. You can have him in a fighting pose. You can have him in a normal pose. It all depends how you want him. <laughs> so the tattoo on his right arm. I don't know why he has a tattoo on his right arm. But like I said, I'll get into details of that later. I love the design of the tattoo on his right arm. I think it's pretty cool. Badass. Sick as hell. Really detailed on his right. And then you can see right on the side, it, it looks like a little scratch paint on there. Look like they didn't fill it in, so you know. But on the other hand, it's still a good figure. And then right here, his bone claws. He comes with two bone claws. And wow, let me zoom in a little bit. And the detailing on these bone claws are just wow, dead on great. Whew, I love how they did it. It's just like the bone claws are so detailed with a nice texture of whitish paint with a little bit of grayish they threw in if my camera could focus 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 sorry about the youtube goers one moment having technical difficulties come on man this camera okay there we go yeah, the detailing on the bone claws are really nice. I love how they put in the little circle holes on his bones. It really brings out the claws. I really love how they did that. The texturing of the bone claws are just really, wow, nice, dead on. I love how they sculpted it really good. Same thing on his other claws. That's really cool. Really designed and then he the two little silver plating blades right here. And you see right here, kind of got a little scratch going on over there. I have not seen. Huh. But anyways. Yeah, but the bone claws are good. 
And then on the bottom of his feet, we got his sculpted boots, really nice. His feet go upwards and down. I don't like that because it's harder for these figures to pose. All depends who you have. Now I have no regrets with this figure, but this figure is really good. The only regret I have is his belt, his red and gold belt. It's loose and it's in the way when you want to pose them in the ab crunch. And sometimes you gotta push him, push the little belt down towards the side of his waist to make it stick on. But the other hands, the belt is really nice. Got the nice texture of painting of the gold. Really detailed on that. But like I said, they should have kept his belt like glued onto his waist and having it loose like that. It'll make the figure look better. But um, yeah, I have no regrets. I mean, I'm a Wolverines fan, and sometimes you gotta be picky with your Wolverines. Especially the comedy now, they're raising prices for these figures. But um, they're making a new X-Men movie next year. So let's see how that one goes with the Sentinels. So um, they should put Hugh Jackman in this costume, man. He'll probably pull it off. I don't know why he doesn't want to be in it, but in my opinion, come on, Hugh Jackman. Try it for once. Doesn't want to look like a cartoon character. Make him more better. You make, move more, you make the movie more better and more excitement. But anyways, my rating for this figure is 10 out of 10. I think it's an awesome figure. If you guys are X-Men fan or Wolverine fan, I highly recommend it. And a little bio about the Wolverine. Supposedly Hugh Jackman, I mean, sorry, a.k.a. Wolverine, Logan, he has a kid. And supposedly his kid is Wolverine Jr. right here. So he has a tattoo. Supposedly my friend told me he read off the bio of a comic book. He was in China. He got this tattoo design. He was working for the Mafia at the time. And supposedly he joined a force for a little bit and then he went solo. So I thought this was actually Wolverine when he was younger, but this is Wolverine's son. But um, yeah, on the other hand, this figure is awesome. This Marvel Universe figure, it should have came with a stand with the his name. That would be more cool. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the figure. Leave comments, feel free to subscribe. I mean, subscribe. Feel free to check out my other videos and leave comments. And we'll see you guys on the next video. And be part of my fan page on Facebook at Toys Collectibles Channel. If you guys have one, find that channel, like it, and you'll be updated with statuses in every week. All right, YouTube goers. See you guys on the next video soon.